Okay, I'll take it back.
Please rise. Awake from your slumber, arise from your sleep. A new day is dawning for all those who weep. The people in darkness have seen a great light. The Lord of a longing has conquered the night. Let us build the city of God. May our tears be turned into dancing. For the Lord, our light and our love, has turned the night into day. Let's begin this celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. This Mass is offered for the repose of soul of Donald G. Brown. Brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those who set firm on the foundation of your love. The Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Kings. Sennacherib, king of Assyria, sent envoys to Hezekiah with this message. Thus shall you say to Hezekiah, king of Judah, do not let your God, on whom you rely, deceive you by saying that Jerusalem will not be handed over to the king of Assyria. You have heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all other countries. They doomed them. Will you then be saved? Hezekiah took the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. Then he went up to the temple of the Lord, and spreading it out before him, he prayed in the Lord's presence. O Lord, God of Israel, enthroned upon the cherubim, you alone are God over all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made the heavens and the earth Incline your ear, O Lord, and listen. Open your eyes, O Lord, and see. Hear the words of Sennacherib, which he sent to taunt the living God. Truly, O Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste the nations and their lands, and cast their gods into the fire. They destroyed them because they were not gods, but the work of human hands, wood and stone. Therefore, O Lord our God, save us from the power of this man, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you alone, O Lord, are God. Then Isaiah, son of Amos, sent this message to Hezekiah. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, in answer to your prayer for help against Sennacherib, king of Assyria, I have listened. 
This is the word the Lord has spoken concerning him. She despises you, laughs you to scorn, the virgin daughter Zion. Behind you she wags her head, daughter Jerusalem. For out of Jerusalem shall come a remnant, and from Mount Zion survivors. The zeal of the Lord of hosts shall do this. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, He shall not reach this city, nor shoot an arrow at it, nor come before it with a shield, nor cast up siege works against it. He shall return by the same way he came, without entering the city, says the Lord. I will shield and save this city for my own sake and for the sake of my servant David. That night, the angel of the Lord went forth and struck down 185,000 men in the Assyrian camp. So Sennacherib, the king of Assyria, broke camp and went back home to Nineveh. The word of the Lord. God upholds his city forever. God upholds his city forever. Great is the Lord and holy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. God upholds his city forever. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, is the city of the great king. God is with her castles. Renowned is he as a stronghold. God upholds his city forever. O God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. As your name, O God, so also your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Of justice, your right hand is full. God upholds his city forever. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give what is holy to dogs and throw your pearls before swine, lest they trample them underfoot and turn and tear you to pieces. Do to others whatever you would have them to do to you. This is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction. And those who enter through it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life. And those who find it are few. The Gospel of the Lord. To understand the Gospel, to understand the context is very important. This is part of the Sermon on the Mountain, Matthew chapter 5, 6, and 7. And we have verses today, 6, talk something different, and 12 and 14 is different. Let's get a little bit of gist of what is the, the verses about. Do not give what is holy to dogs and throw your pearls before swine. I know many of you love your dogs. He meant to your dogs, or the swine means unclean, which is not in conformity. He says, keep away from your life what is not unclean. That could be a sin, that could be a bad behavior, that could be a bad thought. 
So let's not get into, we are not against animals or pets. More than that, there's something meaning behind is, what is not clean, keep aside. Then the golden rule, it's called, do whatever you would have them to do. This is the law and the prophet. In a triad of law, prophet, and love of God and neighbor plays an important role. The ultimate pinnacle, the apex is not just keeping the law, not just uh, listen to the words of the prophet, to have the love for God and the neighbor takes precedence. When somebody loves God with all heart and loves their neighbor, goes beyond law and the prophet. And finally, walking through the narrow gate. Unfortunately, today we have to do that. You go to Trader Joe's, you go to any stores, you big line up, and you have to keep the social distances gone all those days. You just walked in anywhere and came out anywhere. Now you have to go to the narrow door. You enter through the main gate and get out to the main gate. What it tells us? I'm not comfortable going through a narrow door. I'm used to going a broader road. What happens when you drive in, drive in I-75? When the construction is going on, you have to go through single lane. It takes a lot of time. So for us Christians, the narrow gate means a tremendous dedication, tremendous commitment, tremendous self-discipline, because we know what is going to come. It is not the way is important, the destiny is very important, because God who promised us eternal life, it's easy to go in a big road, it's easy to take a comfy life, a comfortable life, but what God is asking you today, the narrow gate, a narrow path means commitment, dedication, and self-discipline. What are the barriers in my path to God? A barriers of anger, barriers of judgmental, barriers, barriers of being unhappy person, barriers of feeling guilt in my life that God has not forgiven. Today, God is calling you. Think about it. Let your life be of dedication, commitment, and self-control, and let the thought go away, let our path be cleared to follow Christ sincerely, that with this grace and love and mercy, everything is possible. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Let's humbly approach our Father who knows the secrets of our hearts and place of petitions before him, trusting in his love and mercy. That God's people will come to know and experience his unfathomable mercy through the kindness and faithfulness of all religious leaders, priests, deacons, and bishops, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the politicians will work to instill policies and enforce laws in line with God's well, in seeking peace and justice for all human life, let us pray to the Lord. That the despairing members of a community may experience God's love and mercy, the generosity of this faith community, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may share in the eternal peace of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the world, for our parish family, for our troops, for an end to abortion and euthanasia, and for the ill of our parish, especially those on our prayer list, let us pray to the Lord. For those intentions which are most dear to us, which we lift up at this time in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Let's pray, pray, pray for people who ask our prayers. Bill Fuller, John and Ann Cunningham, Max Joseph Garcia, Carl B. Donovan, Anna Mia Locker, Every, Jordan Hain, Susan, Greg, Diane, Anna Naduli, Smokey Susan, Peter Hand, Michael Blake, Jean Ocean, James Richard George, Janet. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, confident of your unfathomable divine mercy, we ask that you hear and answer our prayers according to your will through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, good of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, good of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. I'm going to go to class for my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of consolation and praise, grant that cleansed by his action, we may make offerings of heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate, in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope, and so with angels and archangels, with all the saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Lord of host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Donald G. Brown, whom you called from this world to yourself. Grant that he was united in son and death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy, welcome them the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Blessed Apostles, St. Francis, St. Claire, St. Anthony, St. John the Evangelist, St. John of the Cross, and Teresa of Avila, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co to eternal alive, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. To walk through the narrow path, we need dedication, commitment, and discipline to know who Christ in our life. With confidence, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, and by help of your mercy, we may be always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church. Graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy they should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there. Unite myself wholly to you. Never permit to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O 
renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. And have a blessed day. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. We, the daughters and sons of him, who build the valleys and plains, praise the wonders of God as done in every heart that sings. Glory and praise to the God who alone gives light to the days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways.